Hi guys, welcome back to the penultimate episode in this series of videos. So in this video guys, I'm just going to show you some of the tricks that allowed me to build this 60 track or 68 track, um, you know, uh, contact orchestral template. So if we go into one of the flutes here and we open it up, you can see something that's probably quite strange for, for any of you contact users. You'll see my memory usage is actually at zero. Now, this isn't actually true. If we go to the monitor engine, you can see that the uh, entire contact, is, you know, it's using quite a bit of, 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 of memory. Um, 4.9 gigabytes in total over the whole of these 68 instances. But what this means is that the only memory that's being loaded, and by the way, you can get contact to purge uh, your memory. Uh, I'll show you about that in a second. But the only reason why um, this is happening is because I've gone to options and then I've clicked this override instrument preload size. And what this does is it means that only six kilobytes per library will be loaded into RAM. And that's, that's my understanding of it. It seems to work. And the rest of the sample pool so basically the first milliseconds of each sample are loaded into RAM, and then the rest is all streamed from the SSD. So it's a really clever way of working around it. It means that the, uh, you know, the, the first um, few milliseconds where there would be latency from an SSD are streamed from RAM, which is much faster, obviously no bottleneck of, of over SATA, and then the rest is streamed from the SSD. So this is really, really clever, and this is why I said at the beginning of these series and why I've kind of hammered home about it throughout the tutorials is that you do need an SSD because I don't believe a traditional hard drive would be you know fast enough to, to get this done um, but essentially guys that's that's the one trick that's you know that's all I have to, to show you um, when I was building this template what you do need to do is you need to go let's say this is the first you know instrument that you've loaded from your libraries you've just chosen it woodwind solo let's you know flute flute legato let's go when you load it, it will load like this. It will have 33 megabytes. Some sample libraries have 1.5 gigabytes of, of data already loaded. What you need to do is you need to go to the purge and purge all samples. Now, this doesn't really seem to actually have that bigger bearing because how I understand it is that when you do the direct from disk streaming, or you know, the instrument over, override or the preload, that's actually taking control of how much you know, of the instruments loaded into RAM already. But purging each uh, library when you load it does seem to have a significant effect. And um, you'll see as I play back now, only the samples which are being used are actually being recorded in uh, into memory. So that's how I've uh, been able to build this 60 track template. So the next video guys, I'm gonna go exactly through how I go about setting up my mix and reverb buses for this template. So I'll catch you in the next one guys, take it easy.